Yeah, all right. All right. Another New York story. If you were here last week, you would have heard me give a New York story about a bagel and a mob and almost being run down. Something else happened to me when I was in New York over Thanksgiving. Something, I think, that taught me a, a profound lesson that you might find useful too, but you might have to let me know if it's actually profound. And actually, what the lesson is. I'm not quite sure yet, but I think there's something in it. It involved buying a camera. I looked on a website for a particular ca ca camera made by Canon that got highly recommended by consumers before. That's how I buy things, you know, that. checked out first. And this particular camera was like one of the highly recommended ones. I went online and saw that there was a camera store in New York that was selling it $170 cheaper than all the other stores, cheaper than Amazon. So the, the price was $6.99 on Amazon, they were going to $5.29. Man, that's a great discount. I'd like to see the camera. When I was in New York for Thanksgiving, I went to the camera store for 42nd Street photo. It wasn't on 42nd Street, it was on 38th Street. Anyway, 40 second sheet photo, went in to see the camera, and yeah, nice, okay. Said to the man, the camera's on sale. He said, yep, 529. I said, great, I'll buy it, ship it to me in Chicago, because on your website you say, free ship shipping anywhere in the country, pay no tax. He said, so ship it to me, I don't want to pay any tax. He said, oh no, that's, that's only on, on the internet sales, we won't do that. I said, why not? He said, no, no, you gotta pay tax. The other guy standing next to him, a young man, kind of looked like the owner, had that attitude, said, I'll give it to you for 529. He said, great, great, I'll take it. I figured, want to make a sale. He said, well, what kind of a memory card would you like for it? I said, I don't need a memory card. He pulled out a few, he said, well, you're gonna need this one here for $99, it's super fast. I said, no, I can buy one on Amazon for $15. He said, forget it then. <laughs> buy it online. I thought I'd make a little money on you on that card. Just buy it on. Call them up and buy it online. Okay. I said, all right. So I left the store. I called up the store's telephone number to order online. Got some guy. Said, I want this camera for $5.29. He said, he said, okay, I'll be right back. Now, mind you, I'd just been there less than an hour before, seen the camera place. He comes back in a long time, he said, sorry, we're out of stock on that. Okay, they don't want to sell that camera, do it. But I ain't too smart for them, and so I thought. Then I went on their internet site, and I ordered the camera on the internet site. Just 529, ordered it, put my name in, put my credit card in. That's it. Great. Let's see what happens now. Then I started thinking. They don't want to sell me that camera, right? They will actually want to sell me a whole bunch of other things. Then my mind turned black. I started thinking, oh, they got my credit card number. They're going to do something with my credit card number. Oh. Or they're just going to call me up in a few days and say, Sorry, we're out of stock. Well, worse yet, it's on back order and you'll have to wait weeks. And so my mind was going all kinds of weird places. And then I did the worst thing I could do. I checked uh, online to see what the reviews are. Yelp. And the reviews were saying, don't go near this place. Never buy a camera from that place. These guys are cheaters. And I'm thinking, oh, God, they have my credit card number. And I, I just couldn't sleep at night. Keep checking my email, and then finally I get a notice because I have uh, all the purchases for my credit card uh, trigger an email. They had charged my credit card for the amount. I said, okay, that's good. That means that means they're gonna send it to me. Well, that 
not, that doesn't mean it. Well, it means that they charge my credit card. <laughs> and as I read all these reviews on the line, they said, they're going to try and sell you all kinds of cards and accessories and stuff. And sure enough, I get a call from the store saying, well, uh, uh, you ordered this camera. Which card would you like? I said, I don't want a card. Which uh, extra battery? I don't want an extra battery. I just want the camera. Okay. And then they hung up. And I think, oh, God. This, they're going to send me one of these cameras that they bought in Bangkok or something. And it's going to have no warranty. And it's going to, oh, God knows what. And I couldn't sleep again. You know what I'm trying to You know this kind of deal, right? Dealing with some store that doesn't seem reputable. And for days, I'm and I didn't get any notice on shipping. Nothing's going on. Nothing's going on. And then finally, I get another notice on the email because I have uh, these kinds of UPS trigger notices. It's been shipped. God, let's see what I get. <laughs> They're shipping. Okay, I wonder what kind of warranty it's going to be, and what are they going to? What are they going to do? Is it going to be used, or what? Well, where's it coming from? Am I going to be able to read the instructions, or what's going on with this camera? I'm a nervous wreck, and today it came. I open the box. Looks new. I mean, it looks new. All the words are in English. I open up, I look at the warranty. Yeah, it says U.S. warranty. It looks all right. I pull out the invoice. Yeah, the invoice is still right now. I'm thinking, am I missing something here? <laughs> What's going on here? And at the end of the day, I concluded, Ken, yeah, maybe, maybe this is okay. You know? Maybe this is just all right. So I learned something, but I'm not sure what I learned. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's a message in there. And it had, maybe it had something to do with trust and distrust. And I don't know what it is. But between the bad reviews and people saying they're going to cheat you and never buy anything there, and it turning out all right, I don't quite know what to conclude from that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether you're supposed to learn to trust more and ignore reviews, or thank, be thankful that you're lucky, or buy cameras from a reputable <laughs> place. I don't know what I'm supposed to learn, but somehow it was profound because I went through all kinds of emotional turmoil, all kinds of worries. I was thinking, if they do this, I'm gonna do that. If they if they do this with my credit card, I'll stop payment on my credit card. If they don't give me a warranty, I'll call my credit card, forget the warranty. Or I'll report them to the state of New York. For, I mean, I'm going to all. That's Shakespeare's famously called it, much ado about nothing. Well, much ado, <laughs> in the end, it was much ado about nothing. So, that's another New York story about <laughs> buying a camera from 42nd Street Photo, which is not <laughs> 42nd Street, All of those 30, people. 38th Street, from a store that got terrible Yelp reviews, but actually delivered a product that I'm happy with, at a price that's $170 cheaper than, than the fixed price that, that you have to get it at all the other stores. So I got a bargain, and it looks all right, and I haven't tried it out yet. Hopefully, you'll tell me what I learned. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you what I can extract from that story. Oh, yeah. So, um, I don't know if you guys know that you.